So here is 1A, um, just as a quick reminder. This is, this is our first tech lab. It's creating a survey. So again, if you go to Canvas, here's our Canvas site here. If you go to Canvas um, and you go down to Project Map 40, Part 1, this file I'm going through right now is this first file. Just download it and you'll get this right here, the, all the directions. And then there's the word files, um, the survey questions in the word file, or if you, if you don't have words, you can open up the text file there when those, the questions are in there. Um, also, if you want more information on creating a Google survey, there's a link to it there. So here's the deal. Go to Chrome, because it plays better with Chrome, Google Forms does. Um, go to Google Forms, send your Google account, Hit that, create a new form. We talked about this last class. Okay, and then you're going to you know, follow these directions, go to the untold questions, start cutting and pasting these questions from that, from this survey questions document into there, one at a time. You need to do all 30 questions because we're going to create, you're creating a survey with all 30 questions. Each of you, instead of going out there and getting 100 each, you're just going to get four each for all 30 questions, and then we're going to combine them so we have a nice good sample of 160 people with all 30 questions in them. All right, so you guys are each responsible for getting four of those. Um, all right, so make sure that you include, when you cut and paste those questions, that you include the number in front. I'll show you an example of what I'm talking about. Um, and then you need to click on that multiple choice and change it to being short answer. All right. We we went through this last class, so I'm just going to kind of go through it quickly. Um, and then for the first 15, that's all you need to do, just change it to short answer. The last 15, 16 through 30, are numerical. So those ones you need to add an extra step of making them, clicking on here and forcing them to be a number. Don't do that for all of them, just the last 15. So there's directions here about how to do that giving the response validation, changing the greater than to greater than or equal to. All directions are in here. This alternatively, you probably would have to deal with. Um, and then when you're done, creating all 30 questions, double check to make sure you have them all. And then, um, and make sure they all say short answer. There, are, there aren't these little multiple choice boxes that say um, option one on them. Question? So when I did the like, number x greater than or the number greater than or equal to, uh -huh. and then there's a number box on the side. It'll leave it alone. Blank. You can just leave it blank. Okay. It'll automatically assume it's zero, so it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Um, good deal. Now, here's the thing. Next, you need to send it to me. Everybody hear that? Send to me before you send it to anybody else. Because if you send it out and it's wrong, then you have to go back and start from scratch and redo it all. Right, or do something else and you know, delete some things and do some other stuff. So send to me first, just to make things easy. Hit this in the upper part, there's this little send button there. Um, and that when you hit, and then you'll hit email, which is the little, it, it should default to that automatically. Put the email, put my address, email address there, and then make sure you click on include form and email. If you don't do that, it's just really hard for me to, to read them all. Um, whereas otherwise it takes me like 15 seconds. I can just do it like if I'm having dinner with my friends, I can just pull it up, click through it, look at it, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you know, send it back to you and you're all good, right? So just, you'll get your answers quickly and right away, otherwise I'll bounce it back to you. Um, all right, so once I tell you, looks good, then you can send it out to your friends. You need four responses, you can be one of them. Ideally students. That's our, that's kind of what we're hoping for. Um, don't send it again until I say it looks good. I might also, so this is what one would look like. Let's see. Um, set. So here's what looks good, right? So you see how I can kind of see right away if it's a letter or if it's a number down here, the numbers. It's really easy. I can tell if you're missing any because they're all numbered according to the, um, Thing. So you're not making up the questions. Questions are already there for you. Everybody clear on that part? Don't go making your, your own up. They're already in that file. What file? This file right here. Survey questions. And then when it's good, I'll look back and say it looks good. 
So when you send it, whatever email is, your, is connected with your Google account, you need to check that email because I'm either going to say it looks good or you need to fix this, that, or the other and resend. <coughs> so be aware to look for those. You've got to look for that, check that email, whatever it is, to, to get that response. Um, once you get the looks good, send that to your friends, and then that's going to be um, the second part is once you get those back. So again, here's directions for sending out to your friends if you need to do that. Um, okay, so step part two, which is you can download these directions right here, is right in here. So this is after you get the responses back from your friends. Um, and if you, if you give it to them in paper, that's fine. Then you have to input them yourself into this form. They seem to be input into the form. Um, once you have them all, see what it says responses for, you'll, you know you have them. Click on that, and it'll show you the responses you've got. Right, so stuff like that. Click on where it says this little green button. If you hover over it, it'll say view responses in sheets. Click on that, and it'll create a spreadsheet for you with all the data in it. Um, so then it'll look something like this. Here's the deal. You're each responsible for cleaning up your four people's data. Um, that way, when you merge it, everything's all good. If you don't clean it up, then everybody who uses that, all you know, 20 people who use that are going to clean up that, that one thing over and over and over again, right? Each one's going to have to clean it up. If you do it <coughs> once, then, then it's done. What's up? You guys see what I'm saying? So you're responsible for cleaning up your four. What do I mean by cleaning it up? Uh, for example, Height. We ask for them to give their height in inches. If people don't know what to do because they can't put in five foot two and they just put five point two like this person did, that really means they are not five point two inches tall. Right? There's no way any of your friends are five point two inches tall. There's no real shrinking machine, it doesn't work. Ant Man doesn't actually happen exist. So five point two inches tall. Not gonna happen. What they really mean is five foot two inches most likely. Five five foot Five foot two inches, yeah. So you need to convert that to actual inch, inches. Five foot two inches, and I gave you a little hint. There are 60 inches in five feet. So five foot <coughs> two inches would be 60 plus two, 62 inches. So you just fix theirs on the spreadsheet. You can just go right in and just type, type over it. Click on it, type in 62 instead. All right, so fix any of those ones that are strange like that. Um, they give a range like 75 to 80. What's the number that best represents 75 to 80 miles an hour? Give me some possibilities. 77 and a half. 77 and a half. You can average them. Or you can pick 75 or you can pick 80. I don't care. But something reasonable. Don't go, don't go pick in 12 or something, you know, strange. Okay. Um, delete answers that make no sense. If they say they drive at a speed of zero on the highway, we get that a lot. Can you really drive zero on the highway? You can't even get on the highway if you drive zero on the highway. Right, did some crane, a plane just drop you, helicopter drop you on the highway, and you're driving zero, you're just gonna sit there, you're gonna get run over, you're gonna die, right? There's no way you drive zero on the highway. What they really mean is, I don't drive. That should be deleted, blank, or NA. You can put, you can delete it and just leave it blank, or put NA, that's fine, either one's fine. If they are, you know, if they're taking zero class, it means they're not a student, just delete that also, or NA. Um, however, zero pets, that's totally reasonable to have. You can have zero pets, and it really means, you know, not that, you, you see what I'm saying? That's kind of a more reasonable number to have um, in terms of what we're talking about. Um, if for some reason maybe they're normally a student that are taking a semester off, then maybe zero classes might make sense there also. Um, if, they, if they just write something weird, like they say they have a height of 27 inches or 165 inches, 27 inches, they are not if you're two years old, you're 20, you might be 27 inches. None of your friends should be two years old. All right, so their height should be higher than that. Um, 160, 165 inches, that's like 14 feet or 13 feet. That's something really large, right? Um, yeah, no one is 12 and a half feet tall. So that's either fix it because you know your friend and you just guess at their height or just leave it blank. Blank is better than a totally crazy, insane, wrong answer. Um, also, they'll do weird stuff, um, which I'll talk about. Like, they might say things like, 
you know, what month were you born in? And I'll say, when the moon, when the, when the dog held at the moon, right? Just delete that. If they're being wise jokers, just take those ones out, because it's going to screw up our data. Everybody with me on this? You understand what I'm saying? Okay. Um, shoe size of two, no. Um, they're saying they're taking 11 classes. No one's taking 11 classes here. Not in this semester. Maybe they mean 11 units. You should fix that. But no one's taking 11 classes. That's, that's not. Um, the other thing, too, is there's a part about income. And it says to the nearest, put your income, you put your income in in thousands. So if they're making $24,000, they, they should put 24 in there. If they put in 24000 that means they're making 24000 thousands, which is $24 million. None of our friends are making $24 million a year. They were, then they should be taking care of you. I mean, you know. <laughs> you know. Uh, so yeah. Um, okay. Once you clean it up, so clean up all the questions for all four of your people. Just double check to make sure they all make sense. Then you can need to add your initials in. It's a, pretty straightforward. Um, just go in there and um, if you click on one of them, you, you, if you kind of click around a little bit, you can eventually get get it to a spot where, well, this is being difficult. Um, you see how it, it showed up up here as well? So look at this spot right up here. If, as I click different spots, that changes to whatever I'm on. So just change it. You can just click on that and change it there and just put in your, just add in your initials, right? Um, <coughs> And then once you do that, I'll show you something cool also. Once you do that, if you kind of go here, see where I have the little hand? And if I go down a little bit, I get that little um, black uh, X going straight up and down. Do you, do you guys see the, the cross? Mm -hmm. That means I can left click and drag down and it will overwrite the rest of this. Which is kind of nifty. I'm going to undo that. Oh, I can't undo that. No! I just screwed up some data. No worries. It's right. This is a copy. Um, so that's kind of the problem, is that if you screw something up, be very careful doing stuff in the master file. Your own file, mess it up, that's fine. In the master file, don't go changing stuff, unless I, we talk about it, because um, that's, um, if, you, if you change it and, and delete somebody else's stuff, it's just gone, you can't undo it. That's the only problem with Google Sheets, is that you can Excel, you get the undo button and it'll save your butt if you screw something up. Google Sheets, it's, it's, it's online and multiple people can access it. So you, oh wait, I might be able to do it there. Let's see if I can do it there. It's giving me something. Let's see if I can undo it. <coughs> no. Totally not undoing any of this. Okay, no worries. So, you know, I would say if you're, if you're going to do deleting things, maybe email me and let me delete it. That'd be better. So that you don't overwrite or accidentally lose somebody else's stuff. Okay. So put in your initials. And then you want to highlight. See how the whole stuff here is highlighted, the entire row? You need to be on the number four, five, six, seven. You need to, you need to highlight those. So be on number four, six. I'm going to left click. Oh, I can't do it. I think that's going to try to move it. Try Control Z to undo. Oh, I'll try that. Control Z. No. Yeah, the problem is it's the worksheet. The worksheet it doesn't think online stuff. So that works at home. Like when you uh, when you accidentally accidentally move a file and you have no idea where you moved it to, you hit Control Z will undo that. Hmm. Yeah. Um, so you have to be off of it, and then when you hover on to six. Left click, drag down. Do you see what I just what I did? Okay, so don't be on six. If you're on six, I won't let you left click, drag, I'll try to move it. So be off of six and then hover on six, left click and drag at once. Now I've highlighted those. You want to copy them from yours to the classes. So control C and then go to our classes and um, you can just Highlight just the first spot where it goes. Don't go here, because then it won't line up. Go right there. The first under A, column A, control V, and I'll paste them right in. Um, everybody all on board with that part? Um, I will, this is not your class. Let me go to your class. 
I will go ahead and unlock that now that I've shown you what I need you to do first before you start cutting and pasting into there. So, um, I, this is yours. No one can write to it yet because I've write protected it. I will unwrite protect it in a few moments. I just don't want people, I want to talk to you guys, make sure you clean it up first before you started cutting and pasting into it. Okay. All right. Um, questions? I think that's, I think that's all the directions are in here. Um, all right, so due dates. The survey you need to send to me, that's due by tomorrow night at midnight. Wait until I say, looks good, back to you, before you send it out to other people. Once you get their responses, and you need to do that, you need to, you need to get it cleaned up and send out people by this weekend. So make sure that you get it to me Wednesday, but pay attention, because you need to get it fixed and in good shape to send out before the weekend, because on the weekend, you need to send it out, get responses, by next Tuesday, you need to have it, your data back from them, cleaned up, and copied into our master file. That's, that's project part 1B, cleaning it up and merging it into with the rest of the classes. And once it happens, um, once you guys know that, I'm going to lock it so that people